the news with peer reviews, I got myself, Josh, and the other Josh Mills uh, here with uh, Jimmy from Gentle Jim's uh, Beard Oil. How are you doing, brother? I'm doing good, man. How about you guys? Good, good. Say hello, Josh. How's it going? Just living it up. There we go. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get started with the first question. Uh, when did you start and why? I started blending a little over a year ago, um, kind of as a hobby. Uh, trying to find a beard oil that suited me better. Um, get, also get a scent that uh, I enjoyed. And to, uh, you know, make it a little more affordable for myself. There you go. Very nice. Um, we had a chance to review your product, not Josh Mills, but myself, before Josh Mills joined, unfortunately. Um, this is this is probably one of my favorite since is that I've actually been able to review my uh, entire career, you could say, of ugly dudes. <laughs> uh, it's called uh, Texas Tea, um, and it has uh, like a, a lemon smell to it, a little bit of woods, um, kind of a lavender smell. It's, it's very subtle, but it's it's there. You know it's there, and it's a consistent smell. Um, what made you come up with this type of scent, and did you have others prior? I messed around with scents for quite a while until I came up with this. Uh, some of them were a little too potent, some of them weren't potent enough. Um, basically, when I the way I came up with this was I just started blending, calculating what I wanted, and I'd run it under my wife's nose. If it was approved and I liked it, then we agreed on it and I went with it. And this is what I ended up going with. And so far, I haven't had but one person say they didn't like it. Wow. And the only thing he said was, I don't like clothes, period. And this has got some clothes in it, so. Ah. <laughs> some, some people just can't handle that peppery smell. I know. I know Josh here, he's, he's gotten a lot to review lately. How you been liking that, Josh? <laughs> <laughs> um, clove ain't too bad. It's the tea tree oil that really misses with my nostrils. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, it's, it's the one that gets me. I used to smoke clove cigarettes, so cloves ain't that bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, I was cool once. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have any questions you want to ask right now, Josh? No, I'm... I'm just enjoying this. Okay. <laughs> you did the long for the ride, aren't you? Yep. Freaking whore. Anyway, uh, so on, on to the third question here. What do you do besides um, bearding or beard oils? What supports it? I am a full-time manager at a granite company. Empire Countertops is the name of the place down here in Houston, Texas. Um, before that, I've done cabinets for the past 18 years. Um, so, you know, I got into this, uh, I guess I've been doing it for quite a while, the, the manager part since August, and that's my full time, <laughs> but dealing with granite dust and she rock dust on a full time basis, you gotta have something that can handle that. There you go. Um, I, I did, did want to mention here real quick and basically give you and your company a thank you uh, for donating for my charity, uh, my beard club this year for Safety Net, who uh, helps kids uh, who are aging out of foster care find places to live and get a job and find household things that you basically need on a, on a, on a day-to-day basis. So we're getting 10 bottles of one ounce from you, which is awesome, and that will be auctioned off. Uh, during our beard competition on September 19th. So thanks again for setting that up, and we, we really appreciate it. Uh, to move on to another question, what came up, what came, um, how did you come up with the name of your company? Well, to be honest with you, um, like I was talking to you earlier uh, before we started the recording, I, I'm part of the YouTube Pipe community. And I got 250 subs, I held a contest, and that was pretty much how I came up with the name Gentleman Jim's Beer Oil. My handle on YouTube is Gentleman Jim. And 
another guy picked out the name Texas T and there's a label. There you go. Better than better looking than the one I have now. <laughs> <laughs> but and we're also working on that label, trying to get a new one out there. Get a, something that'll hold up to your oil spills a little better. <laughs> <laughs> are, are you changing the, the logo at all? Or are you, are you going to bring attention? Get that a little close there. To that guy, are you going to bring him up to a little clearer face? Or are you just yes. keep it the same and laminate it? I am actually going to change that face all around. Um, obviously, there's a lot of things going on with the color differentiation there. And that's the one thing that I don't want people to get the wrong idea of. <laughs> right. So I've got a lady right now that does digital works. She is digitizing my face into a cartoon. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, that's and awesome. Hey. We'll see how that goes. I know. I know. For one, you got to bring up the name of your company a lot bigger than what it is in the bottles. It's like gentlemen, gent. What? <laughs> so, <laughs> um, so yeah, now I'm, I'm excited to, to check out the new labels on that and see what you guys come up with. Um, if you can share anything, uh, what is what what's in the future for Gentleman Gyms? Are you coming out with new scents or clothes or anything like that at all? Um, I, I do have shirts in the works. As soon as those new labels come out, I'm going to have shirts made up. I'm going to do a pre-order on those. Because everybody knows, there, I mean, there's 500 different sizes of shirts out there. So that first run, unless you got a million bucks, is very hard to do. Right. Um, well, we're also kind of in the same boat. Um, we're, we're lurking into that. So doing the pre-order thing is, I think a lot of companies are doing that nowadays. That way you get the money ahead of time. You don't have to fork it out at once and then you get all the all the sizes that you need without having to order a bunch of extras and not selling those so oh, yeah. um, get, get on that uh, very very cool uh, yeah do you have any questions Josh at all um, no I was wondering if you're going to come out with like any soaps or washes or anything like that I am going to do my best um, as of right now I'm actually playing with some um, the beard balm in the same scent I haven't come up with a consistency that I'm happy with yet so I don't want to put that out there but I I want to play with the soaps I enjoy that um, I've got a few people that I know that make soaps and so I'm trying to do some more research into that and stay on the more organic side I don't yeah. like if you can't pronounce it I don't want it in my product <laughs> okay. Well, a lot of it's, a lot of the Italian words you can't pronounce, so you heard about that. Yeah, um, that's that's very cool. Is, is there anything else you want to go ahead and share with us before we end this at all? Uh, as of right now, no. I mean, I guess that's about all I've got. Unless you have more. No, I only got those five questions, unfortunately. Um, well, we'll just go ahead and end it there. Uh, thanks for doing this review with us. We'll definitely do it with video views with Josh and the other Josh but above my face. And uh, thanks again, and thanks for your donation for that charity, man. We really appreciate it. Well, thank you for, for doing an auction for these kids, man. That, that means a lot, and I was happy to be a part of donating to that. All right. Yeah, we, like I said, we really appreciate it. Um, like this is another interview with Ugly Views with Beauty Views. Check out Gentleman Jim. Uh, plug in your website real quick. Um, I'm on Etsy. At, you can find me on it was it Etsy dot or backslash Gentleman Jim's Oils. There we go. Cool. All right. Well, thanks again, man. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. Bear on.